<laughs> just knocked over the target. <laughs> yeah, so that was the steel that's laying on the ground right over that direction. I guess that's what happens when you hit it with the big shoddy. There is just something about a shotgun, specifically a 12 gauge, and definitely when it comes to a semi-auto version like the Mossberg 930 SPX, which is an absolute beast on the range. I think that any of us out there that have felt that 12 gauge power in the pocket of your shoulder, you know why people pay attention when the gauge is going off on the range. All right, everybody, so before we get to work with the shotgun, the 930 SPX, make sure you guys have a medical kit when you're out there on the range, outdoors, doing anything fun from Live the Creed, Full Trauma Blowout, link in the description. Be safe out there, have fun. All right, so we had a couple of flubs there when it came to kind of reloading, getting used to some of the stuff that's going on here, but that's to be expected when you change things around. Uh, because like I've said in the past, when it comes to like 1911s and shotguns, if you don't run them, they will definitely run you out on the range. The goal of this was to improve performance on this, give some options with that ammo storage, but not impair the function of it. Now me flubbing some reloads, that's just a training issue. But there's some also some maintenance stuff that I replaced in here that kind of took it to the next level as far as the functionality and feel of it that made the operation overall a little bit more smooth. Before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's videos, which is going to be Shall Not Comply. Uh, awesome company. They handle all of the t-shirts and patches and all that stuff for my channel, as well as lots of others in the game. Guns and Gadgets, Gun Collective, Reno May, Paul Harrell, one of the great ones. So if you want to check out any of that stuff from my channel, there's, there's a link directly down in the description for you. Check that out. It does support the channel. And then to True Shot Gun Club, awesome people over in Tempe, Arizona. They've been a big supporter of the channel, helping out with ammo. They've got ammo in stock and they've got good prices. I will leave their link in the build list with all the rest of these parts, should you want to check any of that stuff out. Well, let's go ahead and get into what I did to this for maintenance changes and also gaining performance. All right, so when it comes to what I changed on here, the most exterior ones besides the optic, I'm still testing that's gonna be a completely different video. It's probably gonna be that side saddle. So this one specifically is GG and G. They're out of Tucson, Arizona, I think actually, so about an hour and a half away from me. Uh, it's pretty cool. You get to carry six more shells on there. You can have different loads if you want, if you're doing something tactical, breaching rounds, buckshot, birdshot, whatever you want. So you can put anything in there. Um, it's cool, I wanna say it was like under 90 bucks or something like that. The one thing I did notice uh, is, and you'll kind of see those flubs from the range footage, um, it's very tight initially. So there's like little rubber spacer all the way behind this. And that's what kind of gives the shells tension as they're in there. Um, well, it gives them so much tension initially that you really have a trouble getting them out of there, pulling them out of there on time. Now I know that will loosen up and flatten out over time because on the Remington 870 right here, which has another side saddle, the shells barely stay in there. Um, because that rubber in it is so worn at this point. Uh, and we'll talk more about that um, because the 870 is supposed to be coming back out. We'll see. So pretty cool. Ups your capacity because we only get so much in a magazine tube here on a shotgun, right? Uh, but you need to understand it's going to be super tight up front. You've got to work it in. Just leave your shells in there for a while, maybe some old game shot and uh, let it stretch out or maybe even um, a slug in there so the shell doesn't bend at all. And that'll kind of loosen that up over time. It's not going to repair function at all. It attaches in there by replacing the factory pins through the uh, receiver there. All around a very cool part on there and it wasn't too expensive. Other exterior part is going to be obviously the charging handle right here. So it gives you a lot more meat, a lot better texture on it. Its size is a little bit bigger, which maybe you're into, maybe you're not. 
but it does add a level of performance and again, it's not going to impair the function of it. Uh, they also do have extended bolt releases right here. I just didn't get one yet because this one's pretty okay. I've never had a problem activating it, but I might try one of those in the future. Uh, but overall, the charging handle, super cool. And I wanna say it was like right around 39 bucks or something. Not that big of an expenditure. Uh, moving back from there, the safety. So that is a far bigger safety right there. Give you guys a quickie right there. And of course, I'll roll in that sweet up close footage for you. Um, that's nice because the one that's on there is like plastic and it is super small and just really sucked to engage. And I think mine was actually kind of fractured by the time I took it off. The one thing is though, is the screw that's in those things is a pain in the butt to get out. So very cool that this one has a much more wider profile in the rear, thinner profile in the front, and it's kind of sectioned. So your thumb actually goes on the top, then it can seat in there if you got your whole thumb on it. Pretty cool design and that thing was like, Super cheap, I wanna say it was like 25 bucks or something. That one specifically was sent in by a viewer and I totally forget your name, but thank you very much to the viewer that sent that in. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Moving on from there, the other things that I did to this was up inside and I'll roll in some footage. I changed the magazine follower um, again to a GGNG because my factory one was actually starting to stick and kind of bind a little bit in there. Um, and it was just, it just had some drag to it. It wasn't as smooth as those metal or aluminum followers that you can get. So that was just a quick no brainer. And again, I want to say it was like 25 or 30 bucks. And I'll leave links for all that stuff down below at the parts list. Um, now the one that made a huge difference is going to be the OR three gun competition forearm retainer, which is up under here, kind of around the barrel. And this was something that was brought to my attention by you, the viewers. Uh, great part, and once I actually pulled this apart, I realized that my factory plastic forearm retainer was broke, which is why there was so much slop in my forearm. So now I can squeeze the death out of this, and it doesn't move at all, it doesn't flex at all, because the one that's in there is wider, thicker, comes back farther, and retains that forearm right here so much better than the plastic factory one did, especially because it was broke. Now, like I said, some of this was for performance without impairing function, and some of it was maintenance. So I did have that broken forearm retainer. The follower was kind of messed up. Um, when it comes to the 930 SPX, I actually broke this in half one time. I leaned it up against the wall and it kind of fell over, hit the edge of the gun safe. And back here in the tube, you have a long tube that goes back here because there's a recoil system in here for the bolt, right? Um, it was a very thin piece of pipe metal that fits in here to the receiver. I actually broke it in half. I'll roll, I think I still have the photo. I will roll it through up here for you. And you can actually see this thing in two pieces. Uh, so I had to order another one. It was just another factory one, put it on there. But other, other than breaking it in half, I guess, which is pretty catastrophic, obviously, that's the only real problems besides the uh, things just getting old and breaking. So the forearm retainer, I don't know if that broke, maybe just assembly, disassembly, and the magazine follower, just time, you know, those, rounds and shells going in and out of there, not rounds, shells, shells going in and out of there all the time, cycling through there. Plastic parts just wear, where that uh, aluminum one's gonna be a little bit more smooth, a little bit more slick. As far as the rest of this stuff goes, it's gonna give you a little bit of an edge out there, especially if you're a competition person, or you just like to run shotguns. But like I said, if you don't practice this, train with this, it's gonna run you on the range. Kind of like it did me a little bit, trying to get used to some of these new parts with some of those flubs on the reloads. Well, that is what I've got for you all today. I will leave the links for all of those parts at the build list. Again, huge thanks to True Shot and Shall Not Comply. We'll leave those links either at the build list and down below as well. That all does support the channel. If you wanna support the channel in any other way, you can use any of the affiliate links or you can check out the Patreon. All that stuff is a massive support structure. Again, huge thank you to the viewer that sent in the safety. I wrote your username down and I don't know what I did with the paper, but leave me a comment down below and thank you so much for that awesome, awesome part and it worked out very well on the range. Make sure you guys get subscribed if you like the video, give it a like and let me know what are your favorite shotguns or shotgun parts to use, whether it's range fun hunting or you competition guys, I know you got some pretty cool swag on your shotguns. You guys get out there, have some fun on the range. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. I will see you guys on the next one.